this is Steven Stevie. We're back with our little Brig and Stratton 10.5 vertical shaft for our mower. Um, Stevie just got done with the schoolwork. Right yeah. on. So, um, give a shout out to my nephews, Jack and Justin. They're always supportive of us. So, we just wanted to say thanks, guys. We love you. All right. So, let's talk about our motor. I just had this uh, uh, cylinder and block come back from the... Um, Machine shop uh, had a cut for a 20 over piston. Had the valves cut, fresh valve job ish done on it. And uh, this intake valves got a little bit of pitting in the stem. I saw that coming apart. Got our gaskets scraped. So we've got new gaskets, which is odd to us because normally we make our own. So that's kind of odd us to have uh, store bought gaskets. So, anyhow, so we're going to pull the seals out here. We got new seals. We're gonna put the new seals in and uh, put the crank in and the um, governor assembly and start fitting the piston. Get this thing put together real quick, try to get it back on there. We gotta do some break-ins runs with some 30 weight, drain it, and uh, tune the carburetor. So let's get after it. All right, so we got this uh, rotating assembly put in here finally. And we are, I got a little grease on here to uh, hold the gasket in place. I use that instead of uh, any kind of gasket adhesive because it doesn't cause leaks and it holds the gasket in real good. It does a great job. So it's just sticky enough to hold it in place while you're putting everything together. So Get that on there and hopefully I can get this lower end put on here and we'll get it flipped up and put the head on. So I got the rod torqued in at uh, 130 inch pounds on the small bolt and 160 inch pounds on the big bolt. Uh, governor I hope is in the right spot. So let's put it together and give it a shot. All right, here we go. Go ahead and put it back there.
with our little pull behind mower we got our motor bolted down full of oil we're gonna pour a little gas in it a little gas on the carburetor i think i have the governor set properly uh, we'll find out so got the belt on got it all bolted down let's uh give it a pull got a full of oil and down the cylinder and everything's probably gonna smoke like a freight train all right so let's get it uh gassed up and fired. okay so we got our motor bolted up and we threw a little fuel down the carburetor and went to try to fire it and it was spitting back out of the carburetor on us a lot so i know the timing was right and i couldn't think of anything so i pulled the little valve cover off here pulled the carburetor off pulled the valve cover off and thought about it for a minute i thought well they just ground the valves so the valve on the intake was way too tight so i got in there with my valve lash adjustment tool and ground the valves because they took material off the valve seat and the valve face which brought the valve down closer to the cam they didn't catch it and i didn't think about it going back together i should have caught it myself but i didn't so i am clearancing it with some files and believe it or not i did the intake already and i got it right at five thousandths which is where i would say is pretty good my exhaust valve is at three right now and that is tighter than i want i'd like to have eight eight or ten so i am going to try to do the same thing with a little bit finer file than i just used now if this isn't barbaric i don't know what is but dang if it didn't work and we are going to check it Okay, I had three. Let's recheck it with three. Definitely opened it. If I could get, I'd like to see eight. What do I got here? Easy. Okay, I didn't get that much because I'm not, well, yeah, I'm four. My bad. Here's five. make my fingers work okay so we're about four and a half five i could probably fit a five in there but so i need to go a little more all right you should have seen the intake that was a big file so let's get it about a thousands oh lord but it you know it's my fault as well as anybody else's i should have checked it my machine shop's usually very, very good, but. This is kind of how they're adjusted, except not with a file. They grind them on a valve grinder. And, uh, you know, I feel relatively comfortable that this is not going down into the crankcase. I can rinse this out and, uh, and not feel too bad about it. Ooh, that's almost five. I can't believe that didn't give it to me. All right, I'm gonna step it up to the big file. Look at this mammoth. Getting serious. Getting serious now. Come on now. Fight with daddy. See if we get in the money here. There's eight. Ooh, who is your girl? Man, I am nailing it. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna put it back together and try it after I clean this mess out. So let's uh, get the camera set back up and pick up my junk and we'll give her a go.
All right, so we had to uh, weld this shaft up and then re-tap it. I don't know how good my job is, but we did it. And uh, here is, I told you guys about this, taking the seals out. Here's another bearing falling apart because of lack of lubrication. Um, so here is the bottom one, which I was surprised that it was any good. So it is actually feels eh. So we're going to pop a seal out of here and we're going to put it back in. They put a spit of grease in these things. I mean, look at that. There's nothing in there. The grease is just dried up. So, you know, we're gonna put them facing where the open seals are in. We're gonna put a grease fitting in the middle of this and the bearings in the, like that. So when you grease them, you'll be able to grease these bearings. And honestly, if you keep greasing them, they'll last near forever. So I was lucky enough that I had a couple of good bearings for both spindles. And I will see if my arbor job works. Um, if it doesn't, then I'll do it again. So, yay. Um, so let me get this thing uh, drilled and put have a grease fitting installed and we will uh, start getting this stupid thing put back together. This is supposed to be. All right. So let's do it.